Here's a little update on this bogey we cut no more than like three weeks ago. It has given us some depth, which is what we were looking for in the first place. We spread out some of these, uh, these branches to give us some uh, wide branches that are growing out and uh, they're even ramifying. We are even bifurcating here, which is really cool. Um, we're gonna do a little bit of trimming. It's long enough and look at, by the way, this has grown brand new, six inches of growth in three weeks. So the fertilizer is doing its job. It's really doing its job. And it's because it's growing so well, this wire that we put on is already biting in. Come closer and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so this was our anchor point bringing us down here. And if you go ahead and take a look at that, let me try to get this off here so you can see. Look at how much that's bitten in already. That's how much it's grown in just three weeks. Incredible. So I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting off the rest of it. Cause it's biting all over the place. got it on the bench already I'm gonna go ahead and prune back the foliage here since it's got more than five leaves growing on it it's safe enough to go back down to the first node there cool that's it what do you guys think about this tree? Needs some more growing. Um, I'm just focusing on trying to get some more branching going on to it for now, but it's a pretty good little bonsai, I hope. I've got some more projects to do. Let's do it. This is my Fukian tree. Uh, Cascade, of course. It's doing wonderful since I did its repotting back in, I forget when we did it. And the wiring is still good. It doesn't look like it's biting in maybe uh, a couple spots so i think i'll dewire it and uh, we're going to cut back a lot of these uh, longer shoots <music> Starting to look like its own little shape here. It used to be like windswept, which still I suppose you could say that, but it's got this cool little thing going on here. I'm really enjoying how it's looking. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the wire off of this before it bites in any more. Good time to defoliate this. That's what I'm gonna do.
cool. So now we can see the branch structure a lot better. I only kept the brand new leaves and all the little pretty flowers that are popping. How about that? They're kind of hiding amongst all the uh, foliage there. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove all this wire that I can see that looks like it's biting in, which it's a lot more than I thought. It's not crazy biting in, but just enough for me to go ahead and move it. And it looks like it's the branch is set pretty much. There's a little spring to it once you get it out of there, but not much. Got a little twig here and I want to not put any wire on this but rather separate that a bit um, not this wire so I'm going to cut it some more but this should be a nice way of, of uh, moving the branches without using wire so I think I just want to push it a little out this way um, So I probably want to give this a good cut right down there so. I don't know. We'll go a little high so that we have room to back up. I'm just going to create a tiny point so it can sort of push against and have a little pivot spot. I'm just going to find a safe spot to sort of put this. nice depth back here it separates everybody so it's more fanned out I think it's great so I'm gonna cut back all these little guys here because uh, I don't want anything really growing on well, do I no I sort of like that it comes up and out of here let's give it a little cut there There's a couple more in the back that I'll take care of can't see him anyways. Nice. Cool. All right, let's put that away for now. All right, I've got my ficus nerofolia here and it's getting quite heavy. Every time it gets watered, these branches are drooping down. It's not looking great when it happens. So I'm just going to cut back a few. Uh, we're also going to check for scale because I do notice there's ants going up and down this so and I, I know that this ficus is prone to get scale from time to time and yeah I'm already pulling some off here so once we do the pruning we're going to spray it down and then we're going to wash it all off and uh, hopefully that'll do the trick let's go so I'm just going to prune these back here these longer branches down uh, let's start with this bottom branch comes up Got a lot of nice foliage here and I don't want to go too far back. So let's start right about here.
She's all pruned up, ready to go back in the greenhouse. Looks pretty good. This here is my variegated elephant food, or Portulacera afra, or port. Um, it's pretty cool, it's on a little slant here, it goes up, it kind of hovers over. It's got a lot of branching happening here. So what I'm just gonna do is trim it down a bit and get this back into shape, and hopefully it does some more ramifying and growing. Check it out. really cool about this tree, this succulent, is not only can you eat the foliage, um, you can put these in soil and they root very easily. As you can see, every time I cut some of my elephant food, my elephant bush, I just shove them in dirt. First I let them callous over. so. The idea here is you let it dry out right here. It takes a day and then just shove them in soil. They'll root. So make sure you save them or you can eat them. All right. We defoliated my Fukien tea tree. We dewired it as well. We pruned up my port here. We dewired the bogey, which wire was already biting in after no more than a month of being applied. And we pruned down my ficus narrow leaf here. So it's been a really good day and it is so hot out here. It's Texas, you know how it is. So I'm gonna go inside and get me a nice sweet tea. In the meantime, thank you guys for joining me. Be cool, stay hip, get yourself a hobby. Bye.